Thanks, Mercari. It's 2022. You're still printing in eight and a half by 11, but luckily I found a workflow that isn't awful. And in this video, we're gonna go over exactly how that workflow goes on an Android device or an iPad or an iPhone. Tutorial is specific to a certain type of printer, which I will have linked to in the description. It looks like a Rolo, but it's not a Rolo printer. And the best thing about it is that these printers are about $100, puts it about half the price of the wired Rolo and about a third of the price of the wireless Rolo. This tutorial will not work with your Rolos. It will only work with these Bluetooth style printers that I have a link to in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss another thermal printing update and let's get into the tutorial. Printer is plugged in, loaded with four by six thermal paper. It is now turned on. We're gonna do it first on the iPad, which would be the same as an iPhone, just might look a little bit different on the iPhone. First thing you're going to do is open the app store. You're gonna type in Shipping Printer Pro. It should auto fill. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you type in Pro because there is an app, an older app called Shipping Printer, but you want to do Shipping Printer Pro. Download that and install it. You might have to put in your password or use your face ID, and then we're going to hit open. It may ask you to turn your Bluetooth on, and in order to do that, we're gonna to go to settings, go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on, because that's how we're gonna be connecting to this printer through Bluetooth. Then you're going to go to Shipping Printer Pro. Up here at the top right where it says not connected, you're going to click on that, then we're gonna hit this little refresh arrow. It should pop up with a bunch of Bluetooth connections. You're going to look for one that corresponds to your printer model, Ours is the BY426. There are slight variations in this printer model, so you're going to look for whichever one correlates to your printer. We're gonna hit connect. It said down here at the bottom right, connection succeeded. And then we're going to hit the back button here at the top left. As you can see now at the top right, we are indeed connected to our printer. Now you're going to open your Mercari email, navigate to the email message that has your label in it from Mercari, and then you're going to click on your label and open it up in your viewing window on your iPad or on your iPhone. It should look somewhat like this. Then you're going to go up here to the square with the arrow up at the top there, and then you're going to scroll over and look for Shipping Printer Pro, and it's going to open it up in that app, Shipping Printer Pro. Should look something like this. You need to rotate your label, and you can press this button right here. It should rotate your label, and then we're going to need to crop it by hitting the scissors right here. One click, it crops it perfectly from 8.5, 11 to 4 by 6. As you can see, it already auto-connected to the printer up here, and then we're going to hit print. It's going to send the signal from the iPad to the printer, and it's going to print out your 4x6 Mercari label. If you're on an Android device, you're going to open your Play Store. You're going to search for shipping printer pro so we're going to hit install it's going to download and install the app on your device once it is installed you're going to hit open it may ask for some sort of permissions here i think i already have given it permission in the past so it didn't pop up you're going to want to make sure that your bluetooth is turned on in your settings and then we're going to tap up here where it says not connected in the top right. You want your phone or tablet now to search for the device. So we're gonna hit this refresh arrow down here and it's asking me if it wants to give access to this location while using this app. And now it is finding Bluetooth devices around me and looking for the printer. For some reason it pops up with two of them. We're gonna choose the one that does not say LE. It says BY426. If you have this exact same printer, it should say that if you have a different flavor of the printer, like this Jaden's printer, it may say BY425 at the bottom. We're gonna tap on BY426 without the LE. And at the bottom right here, it says connection succeeded. So now the app knows how to pair with the printer. The printer is blinking green instead of a solid green. And any time that we open up a label within the app, it should automatically connect to the printer. So now we're going to go, we're gonna to go to our email. I'm not going to download the label. I'm just going to tap on it. And it says open with Shipping Printer Pro. If yours doesn't say that, look for Shipping Printer Pro down here, tap on it, and then 
open it with Shipping Printer Pro, then it should look like that. It is in landscape mode. If for some reason yours isn't, you can rotate it like this, get it in landscape mode, and then in order to crop it to four by six, you're gonna hit the scissors, there you go. It automatically connected to our printer, the BY426 right there, and then we're just going to hit print. It's going to send the label to the printer, and now we have a beautiful four by six label for our Mercari package. Now that workflow might seem like a lot, but once you connect your device to the printer once, it will remember it within the app. I'm gonna restart my phone. I'm gonna restart the printer just to show you guys how fast the workflow actually will be once you hit it all figured out. So we got our stopwatch down here. My phone is restarted. We're gonna start that and see how long it takes to print this label. We're gonna go into our email, find whatever email is your Mercari label, tap on it, open with Shipping Printer Pro just once, crop. While it's cropping, it hasn't connected yet. It's still searching, searching. Oh, it's connected. We're gonna hit print. It sent the signal to the printer. So that was a total of 25 seconds from start to finish. If you know somebody that ships with Mercari and is having an issue complaining about the 4x6 formatting, share this video with them. Mercari still needs to offer 4x6 formatting, but this workaround is the best that I've found so far that doesn't cost you a monthly fee for a plugin, or it's not as cumbersome as cropping and printing from your computer. It allows you to run your entire business off of your mobile device. If you already have have a Bluetooth thermal printer at your house that isn't this exact one, please try it with this method and see if it works. Let us know about it in the comment section below so I don't have to buy all of the Bluetooth printers off of Amazon and test to see which ones work. And I will have an updated list of printers that work with this method in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another video. Don't miss another update like this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.